going on uh, live and um, so you can you can carry on surrendering while uh, doing work that's actually just applying everything so when you like when you're doing the observer when you're learning which we'll be doing it soon the observer tool you practice the observer first while you're sitting down with your eyes closed being the witnesser of your thoughts then you practice being in the witnesser of your thoughts uh, while you're standing up then while you're walking then you can practice while you're you know you're doing household chores you know you're putting up a painting at or when you're in the observer be careful when you're putting the nails in in case you sort of get your finger and uh, and also you can practice being in the observer while spe uh, speaking to people and, and talking to people. So all of those can happen. If you're doing, how do you surrender your feelings while you're, um, while you're getting on with your day? Well, remember, when you practice feeling the, fe the feeling the feelings tools, you're, what you're practicing is um, most people are unconsciously repressing their feelings all the time. So, you know, mentally they don't want to feel when they're going about their day and they're just pushing everything under the hood. And uh, so it, with continual practice of the feel the feelings tools, what happens as you're going about your day, you're actively trying to let your feelings come up and be feeling them while you're doing your daily actions. So let's say you're feeling terror or fear or you feel like crying. You don't try and stuff that down. You just let it come up. So, you, you know, you're sort of like, you know, speaking to the bank and you're sort of crying at the same time or you're like, Feeling, you know, you sound like you're having a panic attack while you're talking to your neighbour or whatever it is. So you're not trying to actively push stuff down. You, you, you become like this person who uh, is always feeling and don't, you don't really care what other people think of you. Because you're always, and when overwhelms of feelings come up, you just allow them to come up without pushing them down because it's awkward. And uh, so I remember once, you know, I had a sponsor in a fellowship and I said like, just feel your feelings at all costs and don't care what people think of you and you'll get well really quickly. And I remember, uh, you know, I spoke with her one day and she said, oh, I was in the board meeting and I burst into tears and everyone was like worried about me. And they all came up and they said, what's wrong with you? And she said, well, I'm just crying, that's all. <laughs> and then and, 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 and she carried on and, and, and she got well really quickly. She just didn't care what people thought of her. Isn't there a difference between expressing feelings and feeling them? Let's talk, Hawkins talks mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, well, expressing, I mean, it's not about, I mean, the thing with feel the feelings is about, like, allowing all your oppressed energies, all these vibrations to come up yeah. and not push them down. Yeah. And it's like, if you practice that constantly and practice that, now, how do you do that as opposed to just doing it in the morning, when you're going about your day, yeah. as you're at work, you're letting your feelings come up. Yes, and you, even if you sound a bit sad or tearful or you're a bit panicky, you still don't push them down during yeah. the day to the best of your ability. So you're surrendering your feelings. If you're in the witnesser, you transcend things at work. Someone triggers you, go to the witnesser of that. So you'd be transcending your attachments to being triggered by your work situation. In that way, you, you know, you, you're doing your course of miracles yeah, and just I mean. yeah. making, okay, your boss is as meaningless as the plant, mm. who's as meaningless as, as, as the table, mm -hmm. who's as meaningless, you know. Also, your, the voice tone of your boss is as meaningless as the sound of a tap, tap water, is as meaningless as that. So you're transcending all these things that hook you in. So you're surrendering. Mm. So you, you, eventually you, you're able to be in the, in the flow state at work because you transcend, you let your oppressed feelings go. So that's how you surrender and carry on functioning, as opposed to this idea of just 20 minutes in the morning when you're feeling your feelings, being in the observer and doing your count, you're doing it all through the day yes. as a practice. Is it good for a stack at work, though? We're on cameras, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, no, it's, I mean, it's like, um, it's the thing, I mean, you don't have to, you can, you can, you can do, th I mean, you don't have to go to an extreme, you just do it to the extent you feel comfortable doing it. You know, I mean, if you're, if you're worried, you compartmentalise it, doing the toilets or... Or you do, like when you're doing jobs which are easy to do, like if you're doing monotonous work, it's quite easy to do spiritual work. Whereas if, you do, if you're like a flight controller for airlines, it becomes more, you know, it's like there can be consequences if you're like not tracking and you're in a state of bliss, you know. So, so. I try but, to do that all day, like every, day, every time I have the answer. But it's like with anger, for example. I've had. I've expressed anger yeah. and it didn't, I wasn't feeling it, you know what I mean? 
Like I would go to an MMA class and I was like putting all my anger and all of that, but I was getting even more angry. No, it's not about vocalizing. It's about feeling the energies. It's like if there's feelings, you know, when you're doing the feel, it's like you're vacuuming out the repressed energies and the vibrations in your body. It's not about communication at all. It's, it's got nothing to do with communication. It's like if there's pain, if there's fear, if there's panic, if there's tears, yeah. it's like laying, just taking off all the mental breaks and just allowing those things to come up. Sometimes I even have the belief that it's kind of unholy, certain things, because I, held, uh, I hold this belief that I'm very enlightened. And, and when I get a certain uh, uh, you know, feeling, I go like, oh, this is not, this is not good. To, you know what I mean? So no, it's, because it's, it's, it's strange. The, all, all, all the feelings are good. I mean, unless it's a critical situation, all feelings are good to feel. Because, it's, remember, it's like this volcano of repressed feelings that you've stored within you. So to let all of these out, you will become holy. To push them back in, you're going to be in, in fear and separation. So also, another tip mm -hmm. is when extreme feelings come up, that's your opportunity. Because if you shut the door down again sure. on those feelings, you don't know when they're going to come up again. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the grace moment. Mm -hmm. these I, think I, became, I became afraid of feelings because of two things. Because as, as an addict, it wasn't just a little bit of anger. Yeah. It was like I'm gonna I'm gonna set this entire school on fire. Mm. And every time I would get punished severely. You know, I had since I was a kid. You know, yeah, it was, it was super frowned upon. You lost all your your rights to whatever because you just mm. expressed feelings of family stuff and all that. Mm. And also because having a disease that is very emotional, connected. Every time I I would have anger going on, I would have strong emotional like a physical symptoms so nowadays i think I, I i have that i i'm doing i'm constantly doing spiritual work at the constantly praying i'm constantly you know yeah. trying to but i still have that thing where you know i work or something and i'm like i shouldn't be feeling this or something you know or I should, i'm afraid of things no they so so you feel the feelings you stop labeling so if these thoughts come in, like, I shouldn't do this, I'll be bad if I do that, mm. just let identification go with those thoughts and just allow the, the energies to come up. Don't go into any labelling. As soon as the labelling goes, stop this, or you're bad to feel this, just cut the identification with those thoughts and just welcome the feeling. Remember, the feeling is not about expressing verbally. Yes. Because, again, if you want to verbalise something, detach from the thing to outwardly verbalise and just welcome the energies to come up at full force. If it's going to be an extreme thing, if you can, just go into a quiet room and just feel everything out. It's going to be like a torrent of feelings mm -hmm. in that way. So you want to feel out the energy. You don't want to act out the energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that, that's, that's the thing with that. Okay. So, okay. Um, 